GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today, oh, getting blinded by our volumetric lighting. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I was out exploring, and it looks like the one of the Titan pieces out in front of me. So before we go and uncover it, I think what we can do is maybe do one of the missions, one of the solo missions, I believe. So let's let's try this. Let's take a look. So I'm going to go into the PDA, the PDA, solo missions. What we got for Polaris there? The tutorial's all done. Polaris, we can do the wildlife cam again. Well, that's fine. But let's do this one here because I know this one is the one to go find the um, pieces of the Titan. Well, if we're here, we might as well get credit for it because we've got we're empty right now. I'm just beginning my exploration to go level up and get more resources to keep building our base up to get attacked. <laughs> um, so, okay. Open the log file, fine. We'll open the log file and wait for the message to vanish. Then click on the PDA info button. PDA log, PDA info. Wait for the message, okay. So I guess we just wait for a second. Here we go. Here we go. We're it's activating. So this, I can see the other piece of the Titan in behind that back piece. So the, so I've already, I just discovered that. That's fine. Um, I guess we'll have to take care of, there's going to, oh. There's got to be a drone. At least a drone. I don't think I've ever found the back portion of the Titan without a drone. Oh, and of course we're going to have these guys get real lippy, aren't they? Let's just kill them now. <laughs> not very effectively without wasting a whole bunch of ammunition, so let's not. Okay, so, well, let's see if if there's any drones around, we should see red dots. I do not see any. Wow. I don't see any Xerax. We're not in Xerax territory. So it says to go to the signal. Crash Titan front. Way the hell over there. Okay, well that's fine. Does the mid have any baddies around it? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, well. Let's continue on to the front piece. Yeah, I should have done this uh, during the day, I know, but I was, I'm out exploring at night to uh, save precious daylight hours for videoing. And you know, here I am, video recording <laughs> during the night anyway. Wow, lots of stuff over there. I'm just going to take a look at the map really quick here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any... No drones. Okay, well... Ooh, there's a abandoned factory there, too. I am getting... Exploration credit all over the freaking place here. <laughs> I feel... Sound like a pinball machine. Doing, doing, doing. Okay. What else we got around here? Abandoned factory, mining towers. Okay. So we got to find the mid part. Well, I already found the mid part over there. But I just want to go check out. Before we do that, there is. Ooh, derelict base. Really? Ooh, yummy. There's some good stuff in the derelict base. I know where there's 
we're gonna get lots of loot from <laughs> this this vicinity right now so I'm not sure if I can carry it all with this thing it doesn't have the greatest carrying capacity but oh well that's hmm that's interesting so it doesn't appear to be removing the deco ground deco when POIs are spawning right now I'm not sure if that's unfortunate that is unfortunate okay well maybe um because they have now upgraded the game to uh, 10.1 uh, on a new start it might be fixed so i want to hurry up with this one and, and get the base attack so let's just really quickly take a look and see what's in here there's a couple of containers inside these towers that have that usually have some uh, good stuff in them Okay. So, where is it? There's one over here. Nice. And then there's one over in the other tower. Oh, almost had it there. <laughs> and where are you? Hopefully you're not buried by a tree. Oh, there it is. Okay. And what do you got? Uh, healing. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. Okay. So, mid part. Mid part. Where the heck was the mid part again? Up here. Right. Yep. Okay. Wow, lots of deposits around here. This is fantastic. It's really dark. I should tent it really quick, right? That's what I'll do. Let me get up out of here where all the raptors aren't going to kill me. It won't let me tent where there's raptors anyway, so... Do I have a tent even on me? I did bring my tent. Good. I usually do. Okay, so let's just get up out of here, out of the, um, out of the raptors, and we'll, uh, no, I don't think I have anything in the fridge, do I? No. Okay, so let's just turn this off, we'll jump out really quick, we'll throw the tent down, is there nothing going to kill us right away? Good, okay. Come on, throw the tent down and sleep. Yay! Jump back in. There we go. And voila. <laughs> That's handy. Okay, so there's the mid section. Check energy current. Is that this way? No, over here. Is it? Oh, no. Oh. What? I guess it is over here. Yeah. There we go. There. Let's just get up a little higher. There we go. Level off, jump out, whoops, no, I didn't want to jump, just thank you very much, yay, had gold coins in it, that's trippy, I'm not sure if I've ever looted gold, is that like a new loot table item, huh, okay, it's half ex expecting um, to find, you know, armor mods, but there we go. Armor boost, like that one. So there's a couple more containers inside right away that I like to check. These ones right inside the door, because there's usually some armor, like right there. Love it. And another boost. Excellent. Okay. So. Uh, 
Uh, find the Titan back part. Well, we're just looking at it. Hey, buddy. God, he is so ugly and mean looking. <laughs> okay. Now, when I get within 100 meters, a couple of drones are going to spawn, so i got to be weary of them. Oh, there's those invulnerable twigs. I could be in trouble fighting amongst those. <laughs> Get stuck on one of those while you're shoot, sh trying to shoot up some drones and you're pretty much dead. It's ridiculous. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I think this is pretty good around here. Nice and flat. There's only a couple rocks around. Okay. So... And it starts to rain. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, game. Oh, there they go. There they are. They're going to come after me. Because guaranteed they spotted me. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, here they come. Right? No? Yep, they come now. Here they come now. They're coming. They're coming in. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Yeah. Nice. Okay, they didn't shoot at me, so I don't have to worry about repairs. Okay, let's loot these guys up. for us. Uh, that's okay. Every little bit counts right now. It's fine. It's all good. Okay, so we got to find answers. Well, that's fine. We can either get in through... Wow, it's pretty much dug out, isn't it? Huh. Okay, well... Whatever. I'm going to go up here. <laughs> Because I'd rather. Okay, let's just drop down a bit. And then. Oof. Hopefully, we don't get reinforcements right away here. That could be scary. Okay, I'm going to jump out. Let's switch to the shotgun. You know what? I do have the. The, um, this one that it just gave us, the T2 Assault Rifle, and we are also going to get a T2 Pulse Rifle, I think, pretty soon, but we can just put, there, I'll have to make a drill eventually, but for now, no red dots, no red dots, let's go do this the log file. See that? So we got to get up there. It's okay. We can do it. There's a way here. So, oh no. That's okay. <laughs> it's a loot container. Ooh, shiny. Let's, um, just put it directly into the mini miner. Nice. Yummy, yummy, yummy. That was delicious. Okay, so let's get out of here. Actually, I'll just zap the, the... No? Can I not zap the block? Yes, I can. Because I know the elevator is right here. So let's do that. But then there's another container right here. So, <laughs> you know. We'll just grab that stuff. Oh, uh, yum, yum, yum. Thank you very much. No red dots, no red dots. I'm also going to check the map because the map has a little bit better range at seeing the dots first. So, okay. Very good. Let's get out. Come on, let me out. Okay, log files this way. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, look at all that stuff. 
Oh my goodness. Another suit of armor and light armor. <laughs> Stuff. Ooh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. We'll just put that to the side. Now, yeah, let's load that puppy up. A <laughs> laser rifle. Okay, let's see what's in here. Take it. And we'll take it. And thank you very much. And once again, we'll just jump up here and check out what they've got for us. And I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Meh. 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 Oh, was that a red dot? Was that a red dot? Just, just checking. Okay, so, I think we got everything that I can by foot right here. Let's get out of here. So, we can either get out through the way we came. Let's just do that. Thank you. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go, oops, right here. Nope. I'm not hiding. Up here. And up here. And, woo, nice. Oh, T2, I'll take that. Okay. Wow, is this ever lucrative? Look at that. All that cobalt. <laughs> This is just going to come in so freaking handy. We can also, I can do it with my drone, but we can also try and retrieve some of the thrusters. But for now, I'm going to grab, there's one more. Where the heck was it? I thought it was Raider. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ah, good enough. Okay. Sweet. And let's take a look, see what we got here. Let's dump all this in there, too. Ammo on me. There we go. Very nice. That was a good haul. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. So we're not quite done yet. What I want to do is we're going to spawn the drone. And we're going to come over here. And... Easiest way in, I guess, right? You know what? Let's just go in through here. <laughs> uh, okay. And right here. And down here. And let's grab our. Oh, I put that in the. Got to make myself, oh, look at all this stuff is piling up. Let's get this in here. No, I will do it. We don't need that. Okay. And resource drill. It's all dug out here so that we can access this large thruster here. Now, what I could do is build a core, put a core in, and then try and retrieve the entire thruster. But I, I don't think my HV is going to be able to carry it anyway. So I, I'm just going to 
go for the uh, retrieve blocks. Now, let's make sure I am connected. Okay. And... Retrieve block. Yeah, man. Be nice to get a T2 multi tool. Come on. Yeah, this is hideously slow. <laughs> Come on. Yay. We got good stuff. Okay, so that was that engine. And then over here, we dig down here. The other one and then right over here is the other one okay so let's grab this now I know that the whole thruster is way more valuable I'm, I'm losing like 70% of the materials that go into one of these, but even the 30% for me right now of what I get out of it is still pretty valuable. Okay. So, now there's also... Um, There's also a, where is it? It's up here, yeah. Couple of RCS. Oh, I got the whole thing? Whoa. Really, did I just pick up the whole thing? That might be really heavy. Crap. That's not what I wanted. Um. Ooh, 50 tons. Damn. Okay, well, we'll try it. I didn't actually want to pick the whole thing up. That's fine. That's fine. I can always place it back down and... And what? Wait, did... um? Hang on, hang on. I am witnessing before my eyes an exploit or a bug... I think you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. I'm getting back the RCS, but it's giving me gear for it, too. I'll have to replay the video and see if that's what was happening. I think it did. Huh. Okay, I'll have to report that. That's, that's a pretty bad bug. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, you could just, well, let's, let's see. We can, we could replicate this right now, potentially. Let's place down the RCS. Come on. Oh, I can't place an RCS on a base. Of course not. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> okay, well, screw it. We'll just continue on. Come on. Give me, give me, give me. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, well, there's an RCS over here. I wonder if the same thing happens. So let's check out what we have in the way of stuff. Five power coils. Six oscillators. Two energy matrix. And six ascosium. So we've got five, six, six, and two. Five, six, six, and two. Let's see if those numbers go up. Oh, I think we just got the RCS by itself there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see anything else with it, so... Huh, interesting. Okay. Well, that's going to be way too heavy. So what we've got to do is... Oh, crap! Here comes a drone! Freaking 
sneaky drone. That's why you got to be vigilant all the time. Now, I just got lucky there. Oh, there's another one coming in. comes. Yay, level nine. Okay, well that was interesting. I don't see any more. I don't know if they're just wandering drones or what was going on there, but. So, oops, if you notice, I got these in my taskbar here. I'm going to show you something. These things are so freaking heavy. It doesn't count the weight of them for some reason properly until you put them back in. And then, see, look at, whoa, I just dumped there, and then that, oh my goodness, and I can't move, I can't move, see that, I can't move, I'm going backwards, oh crap, I'm sliding, I don't have the thrust capable of keeping this thing from moving, oh, there, it stopped, but I can't go anywhere, it's too heavy, so, <laughs> You just put them in your task bar to, yeah. <laughs> That's the workaround. That's the workaround. So we're too full at this point. So let's just head home. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's the base over there. Are we going to get there without? Yeah. So perfect. Wow. We're really close. We're really close. Well, we didn't grab anything from the other Titan pieces for the most part. And we haven't grabbed everything from that one. But you know what? I'm not too worried about it. I think we did pretty good there. We, that was a large haul. Oh, come on. Yeah, so keep that in mind, guys. If you, if you overload your vehicle, just connect to... Um, oops, come on. As long as you got enough storage units, what you can do is you, you just put all your super heavy stuff, not your big storage unit, I'm talking weight-wise, so mass, whatever, whatever has the most tonnage to it. Oh, come on. Get going. Thank you. And put that in your task bar or whatever, your, your extension bar. And... For some reason, it doesn't count towards the weight anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But for now, it's the workaround for if you overload your vehicle. The other thing you can do, too, is you put it in your bar and then put it into a blueprint. And that way you don't lose any uh, uh, materials. That way you can... They go directly into the blueprint factory at full value so that's pretty good well here we go we have returned with booty nice so now that we got a whole bunch of cobalt which we didn't have before we can actually make we can finish building and sealing this thing and I don't think I got any stone though did I no well, that's fine. I guess I'll go gather some stone off camera and then uh, I'll we will seal this thing off and finish off the episode. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back and you can see it's raining. I put up a hangar door and I built all the blocks after going out and gathering up some stone. So 
we can seal this up really quick and call it an episode. I'll just grab the blocks out of the uh, base here. There we go. We'll connect to this one and put this down here. And then we should be able to seal it up. Do we, we don't have any lights here. Let's build a couple lights. Make some lights here. There we go. Okay. Well, that's cooking up those lights. We'll place these blocks. Um, here, let's launch the drone. And we're not going to do anything imaginative right now. We're just going to... Come on. Right there and across. Like that. Oh, what happened there? Yes, that's fine. It's just to make it easier to fill in. Oh, had it there, right there. There we go. So now that should seal it off. There, I heard the noises from outside disappear. Yep, look at that. It's zero, well, it's zero rads outside anyway, but 22 degrees in here and one degrees outside. So it's sealed. Yay. Um, there, we do have some lights we can put up now. So let's we can put this away for now. I think I want a light. Like uh, somewhere up over here, right? Like that. Right there. Boom. And then another one. Not really sure. Hmm. Maybe in the corner. So that's not a bad idea. Do something like that. Actually, I'd rather do that on the outside. So on the inside, we could do uh, the corner ones like this. That's not bad. That there. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. And then let's go into our control panel and we're going to select our lights, but we'll auto group everything here. Go to light group. We're going to crank up the intensity by one, crank the range to max, but I'm going to soften the color a little bit and apply that to the group. You can see it got a little bit brighter in here because the lights now reach us. There. There we go. That's not so bad. I gotta build a fridge and then I can shut the HV off. So let's make a fridge. And that is SVHV. We want the base one. So let's make one of those. And stow our stuff and we are pretty much set for this episode. Next episode. Um I will have gathered a whole bunch more resources. I'll hit level 10 for that. Uh, we can put some drills on the HV and then I'll really be able to gather a lot of resources. So let's grab this. There we go. Uh, where should we put that? Just throw that somewhere. Put it over here. We'll leave a little bit of space between the two. That's fine. That's fine. Go like this. Go into the fridge. So I got nothing in the fridge. Well, why do I keep this thing running if I got nothing? <laughs> oh, wait, that's the base. Uh, HV. There it is. And then, so now we've got the fridge there. Let's put that into there. And to tell you the truth, what we should do at this point, saw something else that could go in there. 
20 stone in. There we go. We're starting to stock our fridge. Yay! We got eight meat. And then personally on us, I always keep a stock of energy bars because they don't spoil in your output. Just don't don't lift them out of your output. You can eat them directly from here. It's like your own personal little fridge of energy bars. <laughs> yeah, kind of cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's how I keep those from spoiling I just leave them in the output one of the output bins yeah I don't know why I guess they'll fix that eventually but for now it's exploitable <laughs> and I'll do it uh, well guys uh, if you like the episode uh, be sure to come back for the next episode it's um, gonna be potentially the episode where we put a bunch of stuff together that could really piss the Xerox off uh, if, if I switch it to private. So I think we're going to build up the base even more next episode. I'll have more resources. We'll keep, keep working on the base. I know this is kind of a boring series, but it's to build up the, the base on its own merits just as a, you know, it's going to be easy to take over because I'm not really going to do much with it in the way of uh, architectural design for defense wise. So, I mean, we could put a wall up, but the only problem with a wall is they can remote uh, change, convert your, your core anyway. They just have to be touching a block of your base, which means in a, a perimeter wall, they can walk up to the wall and do their little zappy zap and convert your core <laughs> so yeah gotta be careful you need to protect them protect uh, the uh, walls from getting touched by them so yeah very very important um so a small design with a whole bunch of guns around it might be the best way and i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna i'll probably upgrade all this to combat or to uh, armored concrete, I should say. And then, um, yeah, we'll get this thing blown up. <laughs> okay, guys, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.